source of their environmental policies, the source of their energy policies, is this crazy idea that if we ship more and more manufacturing and more and more energy production to China, that's somehow going to be good for the environment and good for the American consumer. And that is Republican vice presidential nominee, Ohio Senator J.D. Vance, with me here last weekend exclusively, as Kamala Harris admitted in 2019 that she wants to ban fracking, which her campaign now is insisting that she won't do. Under the Biden-Harris administration, overall energy prices are up nearly 33 percent, in part due to new stringent regulations implemented on the fossil fuel industry. Joining me now with more on the impact Biden and Harris energy policy has had on America is Pennsylvania Republican Senate candidate David McCormick. David, good to see you. Thank you so much for being here. Good morning. I want to get your take on how important the uh, energy space is to Pennsylvania voters and whether or not the swing state of Pennsylvania will be voting on that issue, among others. Yeah, well, thank you. It's, um, you know, this, this election is clearly a contrast between strength and weakness and between common sense policies to get our country back on track and a, an extreme liberal agenda under Harris and, and Bob Casey, my, my opponent who votes with her 98 percent of the time. And nowhere is that more clear than in energy. Uh, Kamala Harris has said she wants to ban fracking, transition energy workers. She's having a, uh, a change of heart now uh, that she's running for president. And listen, this is, uh, these are the same people, Casey Harris, that said President Biden was OK until he wasn't OK. They said excessive spending wouldn't drive inflation. Energy is critical to Pennsylvania. We've got the fourth largest natural gas reserves in the world. And, uh, and this creates wonderful job opportunity for decades to come for Pennsylvanians. It's great for our security. It's great for our environment. And what's happened under Biden, uh, Harris, Casey, is we've made ourselves more dependent on the Chinese for lithium batteries and solar panels. So under Trump and as, as a senator from Pennsylvania, I'm going to fight for energy dominance. It's great for our workers. It's great for, uh, for our country. And, and, of course, that's exactly what President Trump has been saying. You really want to uh, capitalize on the capacity uh, that America has in energy. So it, it feels like on policy alone, you would think most voters want to be where President Trump is <laughs> on policy alone. But that's not the only thing that decides elections, is it? I want to show you this tweet that the Pennsylvania Department of State put out this week, which is uh, somewhat concerning. Uh, the Department of State uh, writes this, Pennsylvania won't always know the final results of all races on election night. Uh, any changes in results that occur as counties continue to count ballots are not evidence that an election is rigged. Uh, see the full explanation, fact-checking, Pennsylvania election claims. So already here it is. We're not going to know on election night who won yeah. in Pennsylvania? Why not? No, we've got... I mean, the, the, we haven't had the changes we need in our legislation, there's no doubt. For this election, we gotta, we got to do a couple things. we got to have huge voter turnout so we, uh, we, we win with such a, a, a margin that is, is without question. Second, we got to have huge efforts to have observers and oversee the ballots, oversee the elections, make sure we have uh, uh, great lawyers in place. And then finally, we need voter ID which I know President Trump has uh, supported, I'll support as a senator. That's the only way we're going to ensure that we have, we have completely fair elections. Uh, we've made some changes in Pennsylvania. They're going to help us this time around. But we're not where we need to be. We've got to have a great turnout to win uh, in November. Well, you'll need to have a different attorney general to have voter ID. Merrick Garland says he's going to vow to stop yeah. any ID at the ballot box. Stay with us more on the election integrity issue with Pennsylvania Republican Senate candidate David McCormick right here next on Sunday Morning Futures. Welcome back, and I am back with Pennsylvania Republican Senate candidate David McCormick. David, I want to first thank you for your military service to our great nation. Uh, we know that uh, you have uh, done your part to serve this nation, and we are all questioning uh, what's going on right now across the world. Why have things become so hostile? Well, it's a, it's a, the world's an incredibly dangerous place because of weakness. Joe Biden's weakness, Kamala Harris's weakness, Bob Casey's weakness, who has voted with him every step of the way, and our adversaries are testing us, challenging us. We need strength in the White House. We need strength uh, in leadership in the Senate that's going to build a military capability that's going to deter our adversaries. You know, this is a moment, uh, Maria, where, where our country's in deep trouble. And this election's a real choice between strength and an extreme liberal agenda that Kamala Harris and Bob Casey are promoting versus common sense policies, and a weakness under them, and common sense policies and strength under Trump and a Republican Senate. And we need that on the economy. We need that on energy. We need that to promote 
our role in the world. And, and for people who want to know more about me uh, and my policies, I'm at DaveMcCormickPA.com. This is a real choice, and the okay. stakes could not be higher. Uh, David, it's great to have you this morning. We'll be watching your work and the campaign. David McCormick joining us this morning in Pennsylvania. I'm Steve Ducey. I'm Brian Kilney. And I'm Ainsley Earhart. And click here to subscribe to the Fox News YouTube page to catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis.